explain this record, it, 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 it's, uh, it surprised me, it took me completely by surprise. It wasn't sort of, I, I just wasn't even thinking I was making a record, to be honest, I was just writing. And I realized that I was beginning to uh, sort of look way over my shoulder and try to make sense of the moment. It's like, you know, I passed six decades, something I'm 60 years old. What the hell is that all about? <laughs> Grandfather. And yet I still feel like I'm about 26. <laughs> Maybe 25, I don't know. <laughs> but my sweet dad, you know, from 1965, he's now 87 years old. And um, he's now in care, and, and uh, he doesn't know who, who I am anymore. Really. Um, he's been fighting the good fight. He, he is raging. Raging, bless his heart. Went in to see him about um, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, for the first time, because uh, I couldn't go in. We weren't allowed in to see him because of COVID. And, and two nurses brought uh, my dad into the room. And I hardly recognized him in terms of his physical generation there, but they said, Brian, it's your son Martin. And he took one look at me and just turned around and wanted to get out of the room. <laughs> he had no idea but where it was. But I said, Dad, I brought the guitar. And the nurse was saying, Brian, it's your son Martin, you know, and uh, very little. But then he, I remember, like, I mean, he bought me my first guitar and I, I learned to play Autumn Leaves for him because he loved that song. And so I said, Dad, listen. And he looked up, a little twinkle in his eye, came over and we, we had a lovely half hour together. And uh, a couple of years ago, Dad was still at home and I went to my parents' house to give Mum a little break so she could go for a walk or something. And, uh, and I just sat there with him. He was fairly uh, comatose for most of it, but he suddenly woke up in the middle. I remember looking over at me, smiling. And he had his, uh, his dressing gown on, and he came over and he, he started shadow boxing me. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing punches. So I thought, well, I better get up here. I was going to get my head blocked off. So, so, so I stood up and started you know, doing a bit of that with him. And, and, uh, and I remember um, a little while later that when I was a kid, I forgot all about this, but he bought me a boxing set. Uh, it was a Freddie, Freddie Mills, who was this big champion of England, apparently, back in the 50s or something. It was a Freddie Mills boxing set. It was like a plank of wood, it said Freddie Mills on it. And there was this stem thing with a thing of Freddie, his face. And you had to punch Freddie Mills, to, you know. And the problem was, if you didn't have your foot on the back of that plank, that would come up and whack you in the arse. And it was very painful. So, but I remember him saying to me, he said, uh, he said, you need to toughen up. You need to toughen up, son. You're going to big school soon. You need to toughen up. That never happened. I became a guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember this, and, and uh, I, I, honestly, this is this is the thing, right? We're we're surrounded by. This is one of the best places to find inspiration for songs. I often come in with a notebook. You write down just a little tip: twenty titles of a novel, right? Because that novel list has probably been thinking about that title for four years. He has sweated over that title. Just write the title down. There is so much juice in that. And you take home 25 titles, you will find yourself transported to something in your head that will bring out beautiful. Uh, it, honestly, book, bookstores are it. But, but the other thing you've got to do is capture the muse, the butterfly that lands in front of you at any given moment. Do not be so arrogant as to think that it will stay around if you're not interested. So I might be riffing at home on my guitar. Uh, I don't know, just... Good, I got that. I'll go have a cup of tea. Twenty minutes later, I come back. It's gone. It's gone down the road. Billy Bragg's got it. <laughs> I won. You, 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 something's gone. It's not quite the same. So you need to record it, but you really need to write these ideas out down so you can flesh them out at another time. Just record something of that moment. Uh, and I, I went. I just wrote down shadow boxing on a piece of paper and I dated it and I put it in my notebook when I got home. But nothing came. Um, Dad was still, as I say, living with my mom and then uh, he forward a year and two days later and he's now in care and we take it in turns to ring him on a six o'clock um, to sort of speak to him. And I don't like doing it because, you know, often he's just breathing on the other line. There's no real recognition and I know as soon as I can't do it anymore, I'll miss it like crazy, but I don't look forward to it. It's a strange thing uh, to be present with someone who isn't present anymore. Um, 
But um, it was six o'clock, it was my time to do it, and I spoke to him, and then I went to my notebook, and I opened, and there it was, it was a year and two days later, and it just, it all flooded up. I was thinking of the boxing thing, and the analogy of that, and, uh, and uh, I went to the piano, and I recorded what I thought was a demo, which but it ended up being the actual song uh, that's on the record. It's pretty raw. I wrote a song for my grandfather, who went the same way, and it was called Carried in Sunlight, and it was a kind of a romantic look at it in a different way, but this is a far, far tougher beast. So burning people who have loved ones in the midst of it, going through it, it's an awful thing, but I hear you, I see you, you see each other. You stand there and you shadow box me, though it feels like I could blow you down. I know you're still in there fighting like a good one now Yeah, you're smiling and you're ducking down Well, we played that game when I was a kid And we have played it all our lives The bottom line is love, my father The bottom line is love The bottom line is love, my father That was you there in my corner when I went down for the count. I could spit blood there in the bucket and you'd patch me up and send me out. And some nights I could dance there with you, but other days, you know, there was a thousand miles. But the bottom line is love, my father. Bottom line is love Bottom line is love, sweet father Bottom line is love Bottom line is love, my father Bottom line is love Now I sit here in dappled sunshine Approaching six o'clock it's an incandescent moment when a soul is taking stock. It is time to call my father. He'll be sleeping in a chair. I know he'd kiss me if he knew me, but his mind resides elsewhere. Now I have anger and I have sadness. I have that joy that won't let go Cause the bottom line is love, my father Bottom line is love Bottom line is love, my father Bottom line is love Love, sweet 